I'm Mia Dyson at the Aussie Barbecue, South by Southwest, with the AU Review. Thank you very much for your time. And My pleasure. Welcome to Texas. Uh, thank you. I feel very welcome. It's, it's indeed your first time to South by. You know, what are your experiences so far? Amazing. I, I was anticipating it being kind of overwhelming and intense, and it's been, everyone's been so welcoming, so friendly. All the bands are kind of joining forces and helping each other out, and it just feels great. I, I wasn't expecting that at all, and the crowds, the turnouts at the shows have been awesome. Yeah, so the shows have gone well, they've, they've been well received. Yeah, I totally surprised. I mean, you know, we played in the middle of the day yesterday, or Thursday in the middle of the day today, and um, people come out. It's wild. It's awesome. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. Especially being halfway across the other side of the world. Exactly, exactly. I wasn't expecting it, you know, half expecting to play to like just a few people. <laughs> so musically, how are things shaping up in your sets? Because you, you have a very small right. window at each show and of course a very quick setup time. Right. Well, it's really exciting for me this very moment because I've just finished a new record and we're playing some of these songs for the first time. Um, so it's all really new and, and exciting. I'm not, you know, playing the same songs and, yeah. uh, you know, we've rehearsed them and everything, but they're still on the edge of like, do we know, do we know them well enough? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's pretty exciting. So yeah, let us in on, on this new material. Well, it's a little, I feel like it's a bit of a departure for me. It's it's um, definitely explored a lot with sounds, uh, guitar sounds, keys sounds, drum sounds, very, you know, less, less traditional than my previous stuff, um, which is, you know, fairly like straight ahead rock and roll blues. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it's it's so hard to describe your own music. It's, I think it's, it's, um, I mean, the themes are like, there's some death in there, there's some growing up, a lot of stuff about growing up and um, changing and, you know, it's my fifth record, so a lot of water under the bridge and, yeah. 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 Where did you uh, write and, and work on the record? Mostly in the States. Uh, I spent, I took the whole of June last year, to, which I've never done before, like a total writing sabbatical and uh, wrote a bunch of songs for this record. and, and on the rest have just come out, you know, on the road or, or um, you know, in my travels in Australia and the US. Why do you think you went about it that way this time as opposed to, you know, in the past? I, I wanted to see if I could do that. You know, I'd always just written songs as I was going, you know, living and writing and working. But I wanted to see if I could take out a month, literally turn off the email, turn off everything and see if I could write. Because I, I didn't think I could do that. I thought nothing would come. but. Off to a slow start, but then you know I, I wrote about four or five songs in that month, which is unheard of for me. So yeah. Um, yeah. it was really cool to try that, and I just you know did it on a whim, kind of. Yeah. And when it comes to South by, have you been able to get out and see some other bands where you've been here? What have been some highlights, if so? Yes, it's been fantastic. We got to see um, Eliza Gilkerson, who's like an Austin legend, um, a couple of nights ago at uh, out out of town a little bit. Um, Money for Rope here earlier today and in Houston we did a showcase with them which was awesome. Gosling I just got to see but it's been pretty crazy it's been hard to actually go out and see stuff. Yeah it, it's, I imagine it's been hectic for you I mean how many shows have you done how many have you got left? We've got two more today so three yeah. today three Thursday um, yeah it was it's been crazy. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. <laughs> it really is. It's nuts. Have you ever done that many shows in one day before? Nope, nope. And I've never had to like roll my gear down the street and to load in three times in a day too. <laughs> Through thousands, <laughs> Through of, thousands people. of people. It's a unique experience. It is. And luckily it's actually not been as hard as I thought it would be. You know, people are really, like yesterday when we, uh, or Thursday when we moved from one venue to another, a whole train of people just helped us carry our gear down the street, which is awesome. <laughs> so what's uh, the rest of the year holding for you? Uh, release the record in June, but before that I go back to Australia, do some pre album preview shows and a mm -hmm. couple of shows with um, my my trio girl sh show, which is Dyson Stringer and Chloe. Um, we're going to do Blues Festival in, in, at East Coast. and uh, we're, looking, we're looking forward to that in Byron Bay? Yeah, Byron Bay, exactly. And um, I forgot where it was for a second. And uh, and then back here for more touring, release the record, and I'll be back in Australia to tour the album like in October, I reckon. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah those uh, the, the shows you've been doing have been uh, phenomenal. 
Oh, thanks. The, the trio shows. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, they, they're so much fun. So much fun. I'm so glad we, we get to bring it back out for some festivals. Definitely. Yeah. They were very, it would seem like they were very well received. At least they really, own. yeah, they really were. It was it was really fun. It was a great, um, you know, you never know what's going to happen when you put three artists yeah. together because some people might not be into all of it, but um, it really worked as a show, I think. Would there be any more music coming out? With the three of you doing so, collaborating? You know, we might that. release a live record because yeah. um, we recorded all the shows. We did 40 shows and we recorded, I think, nearly all of them. So between 40 shows, we should be able to have a couple of good takes. <laughs> I, I hope. hope so. I hope. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. we, uh, we hope to hear that one day. And um, it sounds like you're, you're having an amazing time here. And do you have yeah. any advice for someone on their first South by experience? Oh, just go with it. Like... I know, have an open heart and, and yeah, have an open heart. <laughs>